Hello, and welcome to another chess video. This is Sixter. Uh, so, welcome back. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I'm going to try to start back up. Um, recent news uh, is that I just broke 2,000 ratings, so I'm officially a chess expert as of last week. Uh, so hopefully with my Server announcement rating change, I can try to impress you all with a five minute game and uh, not embarrass myself. So I just entered the pool. Uh, I'm going to pose this video whether I win or whether I blunder my queen. So hopefully I win with this new video. Um, I should be searching for a game. I don't have a mouse right now, so I'm using the mouse pad on my laptop. So if I uh, end up in time trouble and can't click fast enough, uh, that's my excuse. Uh, so waiting for game a five minute game started. Okay. Play Mighty Penguin. You'll notice that my rating Abort is really requested. low. So uh, hope that's just because I'm terrible at blitz. So let's try the exchange variation. Uh, I haven't studied the line that I started playing. Uh, but I play this on the black side, so I want to do this. Interesting. Okay. So let's say I go here. Okay, so I'm just going to take a sip of water. Uh, how do I want to play this? Uh, okay, I'm thinking for much too long. Mm, this kind of threw me off here. Uh, let's just castle. If he moves the bi I, okay, so I wanted him to move the bishop first so that he loses a tempo. Now I will develop my pieces. Attack his bishop and blockade this pawn on the d4 square. Look at that pretty square. Pretty knight on the blockaded d5, uh, d4 square. So, uh, this pawn should be weak, but he has a lot of peace activity to compensate for it. So, he wants to bring his queen to h5. Okay, uh, can I do anything about this? I uh, play very slowly here. Okay, so let's go here. If he plays queen to h5, I'm going to play knight f3. And uh, that doesn't look very pretty for him. I don't think. So let's see what his plan is. Probably he has to play knight e5. Because um, queen h4 doesn't really work. So he's probably going to bring his knight right back to this square. Attacking my bishop, and I'll have to move my bishop somewhere. Yeah. Uh, not clear where I want to put my bishop. But let's... Hopefully this isn't such a bad square. Uh, not sure if... He... I, I, I didn't want to put it on e2 because I want to put my rook on this file. Right. So let's see how black develops his pieces. I also want to bring this knight to this juicy, juicy square. Mm. Boy, is that juicy. Should I do it now? Uh, possibly. I could also play queen h5 first. Let's just provoke something. Provoke a weakness. Uh, okay. And I want to play queen here now. Let's make sure I'm not blundering anything. And I'm going to bring my bishop in on these dark squares. Okay, what's the point here? Trades generally benefit me in this position, because he has this weak uh, isolated pawn. So I'm happy to trade. I want to play my bishop out here, and then over here and threaten checkmate on g7. So my next move, if he doesn't do anything, is just bishop out here. That is what I will play. Okay, and so he's weakening his king position a little bit more now. Um... Oh, 
boy. How to continue? Do I just bring my bishop back? Uh, let's bring it to here, as long as I'm not blundering anything. Knight g4 after that. Uh, takes, takes. Not sure if that benefits me. Taking a lot of time here. I'm worried about knight c4 coming up after. Uh, bishop back to c1 doesn't look very good. Okay. Um, a little bit befuddled here. I can play bishop back to here, and then after knight c4. Okay, let's bring the bishop over here. I get the feeling this isn't a good move. But let's play it anyway. Because I didn't see a, a good way to keep it on this diagonal. He's probably going to put his knight over here. And I was just going to play some crappy move like rook b1, honestly. Um, okay, let's pressure this pawn now. Knight c4, again, looks like a decent move. Uh, not really liking the way I'm playing this. Okay, uh, I'm okay with that move. Let's bring the queen all the way back. Pretty happy with that move. Oh, what a, what a terrible move. Just gave him a free tempo there. All right, but it's blitz. Okay, let's trade. Yeah, and after this, what's your plan? Trades benefit me. Okay, so he's unafraid. Uh, how to take advantage here? Let's just bring another piece into the fray. Gonna put maximum pressure on this pawn. Okay, knight here, and we're really attacking that d5 square. Although he has, he takes it with check. That's a problem. Uh, if I take there. Okay. All right, I am not. All right, let's let's move my king so he doesn't have that check. Not the best move, but I, at some point you really just have to make a move. All right, so now I now I'm threatening knight f three. Okay, knight f three. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm I'm misplaying this. He can still take it. Am I blundering something here? Yeah. I, uh, I blundered a piece. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, okay. Time to try to time him out here. Okay. I played this, I mean, this game was crap. Okay, let's bring this right here. Oh my god, what a crap move. I'm not seeing anything today. Oh well. Check. 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 You know, I don't really believe in resigning because in Blitz, stalemates can happen. You never know. So. Check. Check. 
Check. Check. Okay, you can keep checking me. Check. Check. I mean, this is a pathetic game. Check. Really not happy about this one. Checkmate. Alright, so let's review it. I mean, I know I could play better, but I just, I don't do well in Blitz. Um, okay, this is all fine. C2, okay move. Uh, and I played here. Okay, another way to play for an advantage was attacking the bishop. And after the bishop moves, you go after the pawn. No, oh, that was actually quite easy. Uh, so if he wants to keep the pawn, he would have to give up the bishop pair. And the computer says this is a clear advantage for white after something like this. Uh, the bishop pair and... Yeah, this pawn is... I think actually after bishop d7, yeah, you just play f6. And holes on the dark squares, right? The computer just wants to play for checkmate oh, over here. All right, so that was a uh, obvious way, but uh, well, forgive me because it's splits. Uh, okay, this is all okay. Uh, this is all okay. Queen e3. For some reason, the computer liked queen e3 because actually it wants to come to f3, and I, I keep. Missing the, the pawn is very hard for black to protect, so this was more passive. Okay, advantage, white has an advantage here. Uh, I played this well, this is okay, and then, the, yeah, knight, knight f3 was just uh, terrible. Uh, the computer wants to just play bishop c2, but I miscounted somewhere here. Oh, I didn't have to take the queen. I, t I used to take this way, yeah, and then uh, we trade down. It's equal, but I have I have these pawns, so only black would play for a win there. But I did worse, and I blundered a piece just by miscounting. So the rest of the game, uh, I didn't even really put up a good fight, and we can skip to the end. Checkmate. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will continue to make videos and. Uh, hopefully I will bring you better quality games than the one I just showed you. Thank you for watching.